Many low-income rural Alaska communities are food deserts. Here on Prince of Wales Island, one school district is taking a novel approach to feeding their students fresh produce. I would say we've always got great sources of protein between fish and deer and, and other game. Uh, so that's really nice, but you know, a lot of it is, is processed and, and uh, canned goods that we, we can get uh, here. All right, good morning, guys. Good morning. So today we're going to focus on planting some carrots. Yay! Uh, Students in four schools in the Southeast Island School District help run greenhouses growing fresh vegetables, and some also raise chickens for eggs. These are carrots, and we'll hopefully harvest them in maybe a month, and we'll put them into our lunches. And if there's extras, we can sell those to the community or give them away. Many of the plants grow in hydroponic trays with their roots in water instead of soil. Some of the advantages can be less disease um, and some less pests. It's easier to heat the water for us than it would be to heat the soil. So you can get better growth um, and get the nutrient, just only the nutrients that it needs when it needs it. Um, and so you can, you can achieve faster growth using the hydroponics. The water circulates through a tank of fish, which provide natural fertilizer for the plants. Without the fish, the plants would die, and without the plants, then the fish would die. It has to be a perfect balance, because if there's not enough plants, then there's too much ammonia, or if there's not enough bacteria. Getting students involved at every step is key to the project. If kids will grow it, they'll try eating it. I mean, they'll try a Brussels sprout if they grow it. A lot of my focus is trying to change that, the eating habits. Years ago, Birch became convinced of the importance of food in schools when he saw a breakfast program dramatically improve early morning attendance. The vast majority of our students are on free reduced lunch, you know, that, uh, and we've just made a decision that we feed everybody. We don't deny anybody, and we don't charge anybody for, for meals for kids. Funding for Chasing the Dream is provided by the JPB Foundation, and Ford Foundation. Support for Chasing the Dream on KTOO comes from THREAD, advancing the quality of early care and education in Alaska.